What is good? We're back in uh, in in the Casa de Casey. Uh, Jay Wayne is uh, having some family affairs going on in the house, so not, we not are, really uh, an affair, but no, no, just family activities, right? Family activities. So we moved to uh, my house, which is still semi under renovation. Uh, with cabinet doors are in the uh, workshop out back, but. Uh, we're uh, you know didn't want to skip skip every day. That's why we didn't live stream on Monday because we Jason had the same thing going on. We did a Patreon only show. Me and Matt remotely. Yeah. How you doing, Matt? I'm doing well. Apparently, my audio sounded bad. You <laughs> did it? I don't know. I, no. saw, I sounded. I thought I sounded fine. But. Yeah, I thought you sounded fine too. Um, so today we've already done um, wide receivers and running backs. Um, so today we're going to do a little bit of quarterback talk and we're going to do it in the same vein of, yep. um, very high level, super high level. This is, this is a low level, just getting to know, catching up with, uh, the, the kind of top rated quarterbacks. No, this is no, we don't really have them in an order here per se. And we're not saying we like this guy over this guy and writing anything in stone. This is just kind of a first look catching up the audience on kind of what's been going on with these guys. Um, so a teaser, if you right. will, we will very shortly. We got some guys that have declared that we'll start doing profiles on. Yeah. Um, obviously Anthony Richardson has declared and we saw Zay flowers had declared Justin uh, Smith and Jigba has De- declared. Yep. So there's going to be, you know, Devin more and more Devin not chain to not chain yeah. today. Um, uh, so there'll be more and more of those guys that we feel comfortable putting the profile on. We got we got Booty back though. Booty did come back, so he was on the wide receiver show. Yep. Um, so he he kind of made it back, but we're the the ones that we really dial up the uh, context and and really deep dive into. We'll probably start with some of the guys who have definitely declared, and then hit us below with some guys that you might uh, maybe want to hear about moving forward. So let's start off with we'll start off with Bryce Young. Um, he had a 91.0 PFF grade. That's fourth, obviously a Heisman Trophy winner last year. Uh, yeah. But, but this year, you know, maybe maybe some of his best work because of of that the surround they, they could they couldn't lay it on the surrounding cast. Which sometimes when programs like Alabama and LSU and Burrow was there and yeah. Jalen Hurts and Tua, you know, sometimes it's the question of you know is it the system and the players around him or is it the player and i think you know Bryce Young's maybe his numbers aren't quite as gaudy as as maybe the Heisman but the performance on the field was was he he was elevating them and winning games straight up for them that oh, Texas absolutely. game was on his shoulders yep, yep. Um, and though he may not be the athlete and he in as Richardson he does a lot uh, to to move around and keep his eyes downfield and keep plays alive yeah, absolutely. And he was also injured this year, too. Just right. Happened. The AC joint missed a game, but was definitely not right um, for yeah. some of those for some of those other games. Uh, yeah. walking well, he it. doesn't have the weapons he had before either. I mean, right. Again, that that's kind of I think this might have been one of his better one of his best performances yeah. this year, with, just because you don't have the marquee names all around you. You have Gibbs, um, but, you know, no, no really wide receiver that you're that everybody's clamoring no. for at no. the moment. Um, Not even a John Mechie. <laughs> who, you know, who you hate, but that's okay. Get well, John, by the way, if you're watching this, get well. Don't have the soundboard, but hate, hate, hate. Speedy recovery to John. Yeah, hope so. Hopefully when that new look Texans offense comes out and maybe Bryce Young is their quarterback next yeah, year. Very well, um, might be. We could see something there, but uh, 405 dropbacks for Bryce Young this year, 359 attempts, 230 completions, 64.1 completion percentage, 3,004 yards, 8.4 yards per attempt, 27 TDs, five interceptions. Now, again, not nearly as gaudy as the numbers for when he won the Heisman last year as a sophomore, um, but... I thought if watching Alabama play this year, he he did a lot for them to put him in the position that they were even in. Yeah, uh, he was keeping plays alive. He was making. He was yeah. I, I think like you, like you said already, he was doing things that that don't show up on the stat sheet. But if you're watching the games, you you can tell this guy's a piece baller. Right, and then you know you have when you look at the PFFs things, it says only four attempts rushing, but you add the 29 scrambles yeah. in there, which I guess you're not counting as design runs. Um, he's he's somewhere around 33 attempts yeah. rushing um, for 306 yards, which isn't terrible. No, that's um, more than more than fun, more than you thought. And then 
you know, but again, I think it's the scrambling ability, the mobility. And then he's, you know, if you watch some of the tape, I haven't gone back and really dug in. And I will say that, you know, moving forward, quarterback is probably my weakest oh, absolutely. thing to there's diagnose. Just, there's just so many little things that go into quarterback with the arm motions and the feet and the hips. Right. And just like, there's so much to dig in there. It's just. But he, he does have a, a fair amount of snazzy kind of plays under his belt where he's moving and, and contorting and, and delivering balls and, and weird angles and a whole yeah. bunch of different arm angles and um, doesn't seem to have any problem, um, you know, with accuracy or anything like that. So Bryce Young, pretty solid prospect here. The, the, the biggest downfall, which, you know, that you're going to hear, can the number one overall pick, whether it's him, Stroud or whomever, but Bryce is at six foot 194 and, and maybe he's not six foot and he might not be 194 either. Yeah, they, yeah, we'll get into Stroud's measurements here that I have some questions about too. Right. But, you know, the, the slightness of Bryce Young is probably going to be the biggest question mark. I, I think the quarterbacks we've seen over the last couple of years have kind of minimized those. I mean, we've got five, nine Kyler Murray playing quarterback. So, right. But recently there's been some pushback of, you know, maybe it's not the best. It's maybe is it hurting him? I don't I don't know that it is. Yeah, I think maybe Kyler Murray's hurting Kyler Murray. Yeah, maybe he needs to put the cod down for a little bit. Yeah, not not the not the fish. <laughs> No, not um, the fish. Double XP weekends. He doesn't have a good record. Oh, on. my God. Yeah, so bad. <laughs> um, I don't have the adjusted completion percentage in front of me for Bryce here, um, but I, I think a, a pretty solid season and the slightness. But, you know, I think I think that's a good point. I don't I don't know that you'll that that I will necessarily care too much about about it it's definitely wow. durability in the league you got the ac joint this year um but that's really going to probably be the biggest pri- and he does have good escapability so it's not yeah. like he's just back there being a statue at six foot 194 yeah you could bulk up a little bit i don't see him doing anything insane um but i think when we see the combine measurements we'll see that he's probably a little smaller in both areas there probably although maybe he maybe he gets the weight up with some some you know some strategic, some strategic uh, water uh, intake and, yeah. and whatnot. Yeah, um, for sure. Maybe some pasta. Um, <laughs> so, uh, hold off on that poop. Let's let's go in on which I, I would. I think I like Bryce Young the best out of out of these quarterbacks. Yeah, I saw somebody compare him to like he was more like the game manager type, and then Stroud was more like the Kyler Murray, like kind of like the playing with his hair on fire to a certain extent. Yeah. All right, well, let's move on to CJ Stroud then. Okay. And we'll, 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 we're going to do around the top five kind of consensus-ish yeah. guys here and then maybe kick around a couple guys at the end that, that could be in consideration uh, moving forward. Yeah, so we've got CJ Stroud. Uh, he's uh, he, we, They have him listed at 6'3", 215. I don't think he's either – he's that tall nor that big. Uh, Getting he's a gracious – uh, Yeah. What's the handout they give you at the stadium? program yeah exactly. getting a gracious program yeah weight. yeah he is young though just turned 21 in october it's a four-star coming out in the 2020 class number two pro style quarterback uh for 2022 he's got 3336 yards 37 touchdowns that's the most in college football did not think it'd be that low but here we are especially after um uh old uh who is old bailey zappy had what 60 <laughs> touchdowns last year yeah for the Hilltoppers. Yeah. He's got uh, only six interceptions. He's got a completion percentage of 65.7 and adjusted completion percentage of 71.8. Got an average depth of target, uh, or throw, I should say, of uh, 10.6, but only 118 rushing yards. So um, uh, kind of a bit of a bit of a difference in what the Ohio State has had over the last, we'll call it the last four or five quarterbacks they've had, more like the... I'm not saying he's the same player as Cardale Jones, but more like the the Cardale Jones, the um, uh, the um, uh, what the was, more pocket passing. What was the guy who just quarterback. recently just passed away? What was his name? Oh, um, Haskins. Haskins. Dwayne Haskins. Yeah, more in that more in that vein rather than the Fields. Yeah, the Fields or the uh, if you go back to like a Braxton Miller kind mm-hmm, of thing mm-hmm. or a um, uh, there's one guy I'm missing. He's like a two time. Uh, he's did nothing in the NFL, but anyways, he, he definitely more of the passer more so than the uh, than the just gonna run around. But he, I, I feel like he can run around a little bit as well too. So, I mean, yeah, um, 
the the, the knocks with with uh, CJ Stroud are going to be one helmet scouting that that hasn't worked yeah, out absolutely with uh, any really Ohio State quarterbacks in yeah. in recent memory. Um, and we have you know shout out to Zach in the uh, Discord here, but he's he's a big proponent of that. He was basically like I, I just. After the Michigan game, he was like, "I think this is another damn Ohio State quarterback who is is maybe just a little lackluster and and you know maybe a product of the environment, which you know a little bit different than Bryce Young as far as the environment being you know tip top. I'm not saying that uh, clearly Alabama has great players, but just yeah. not quite on the skill position level. Whereas the Ohio State skill oh position, oh my gosh, yeah, could be the best in the in the they country. Might have the best wide, yeah, they probably have the best wide receiver room in the country, right?" And you know, Njigba didn't even really play. Yeah, they still got a a, a Buka, Julian Fleming, Marvin Harrison Jr. Right. I mean, there's just studs. A cornucopia of skill oh, positions a, there. A plethora, if you will. Mm. Um, so, you know, I, I just in order probably would go one two here yeah, with, I think, with, I think with those fair. guys, and I, I think mean, they will probably go one two in, in one order or the other. I'd be surprised if they don't, but. Um, and, and if you're a, more of a sizes, you might go Stroud. Um, I don't necessarily have a take whether which one will be one or two. I, I guess I would I would lean Bryce, but could be talked into either which way. And if they're close in the draft, then I'm fine with maybe sticking with Bryce here. But the slightness does concern me slightly with Bryce. Um, but you got to, you know, Stroud could easily be Six the one. one to the Texans. Yeah, yeah. Um, and does do either one of those guys that the Texans probably get you a little excited about what could possibly be right? Yeah, I mean we were, we've been talking about that a little bit how 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 quickly it, it can change. Sometimes sometimes it doesn't, um, but you know you're you're in there's an okay nucleus in in Houston if if one or the other goes there. Um, the offensive line has some parts and pieces to it potentially, and there is some okay. I don't know if Brandon Cooks is going to stick around, but you got Nico maybe Mechie. You have some extra draft picks. Uh, you have Damian Pierce. Yeah. Um, so, and potentially some tight end play, but we're not really sure. Brevin Jordan might be good. Yeah, I don't. Um, yeah, we are. They sure. got Aikens there as well too. Um, but I mean, the Lions order. there are going to be somewhere around with the Rams pick. Um, yeah, I don't. But I don't. I don't know if if they're going to take a quarterback the high yeah, though. I don't know. Maybe we shall see. Yeah, I mean they're good. I mean. I, I guess if one of these guys falls, but they don't fall very far to get the Rams pick, it seems like. I think they're picking fourth if the season ended today. Right, right. And, and these guys are going to be more impactful for your super flex drafts than your regular drafts, which Absolutely. is most yeah. most of what we're playing these days is super flex. Yeah. Um, so that's why we're we're hitting you off with these quarterbacks here. Um, so next on the list, you, you good with Stroud? You got anything else? No, nah, I think I think we got Stroud. Take okay. care of um, We'll go Anthony Richardson next. He's declared, so he's definitely yeah. coming out. Yeah. I don't think Bryce or Stroud have necessarily declared I yet. I think they're kind of, I, yeah, Bryce is going to sit out his uh, his playoff. Oh, he's not in the playoffs. Nope. Oh, no Bryce weird. in the playoff. That's weird. Um, I wonder if he'll play the bowl game, though. Be interesting um, to see. He seems like the, I don't the know. kind of guy that kind would. Of the kind of guy that would. I mean, yeah. if it's me and I'm the could be a top 10 draft pick, fuck that. I'm sitting out. I don't care. Yes, yeah, so I don't. I don't care. Stroud's going to play in the playoffs. Yes, a hundred percent. Yes, Stroud will be playing. That's in the, the yeah. only non non excusable uh, absence. Is, yeah. is the yeah. playoffs, which again, you know, could really if if Stroud comes out, beats the first, beats who they play first. Absolutely, Georgia. If they beat Georgia somehow, no, they're yeah, they're yeah, they Georgia. play Georgia. Yeah, if they beat Georgia some because they didn't give you the Michigan Ohio State that would have been that would have been awful. The, um, but. If they somehow beat Georgia, that's going to do a lot for the public opinion. Potentially, if he plays well, even if he plays well on a loss on the national, we talk about this a lot. When the national stage is all pointing at you, um, it could do a decent amount for at least fantasy drafters' uh, standpoint because maybe a lot of people haven't seen him, and that's going to be the last thing they see. Is that Um, so? Could be good, could be bad. So let's move on to Richardson. He's not going to play in his bowl game. Um, He is declared in the in the who gives a shit bowl. Yeah, Um, he's. Florida kind of started off hot, tapered off there at the end. Big time tapered off. They've been um, six to six. Right. Uh, but Richardson coming and, and Richardson really came in hot and then kind of sl- you know slowed up big time there in the middle. Yeah. Six four, two thirty two. I think he's been he was banged he, up he, a little bit. He looks like that though. Um, right. He looks six four, two thirty two. So a little yeah. bit different vein of these guys and, and a completely different style of play. 
um, than these two other quarterbacks. Um, really, what you're what you're after here is the tools. Yeah, yeah, um, tools, big time tools guy. The next two guys are big tools guys. Right. So this he'll be he'll be 22 when he gets into the league next year. So he's 21 right now. But by the time he plays in the league, he'll pretty much be 22. Um, he played 12 games, but I think he was banged up in some of those. Uh, 378 dropbacks, 330 attempts, 175 completions, 53 percent completion percentage. Uh, so a little low there. Um, 25 53 on the yardage 7.7 per attempt 17 touchdowns nine interceptions but the rush yards are 713 uh that's good for eighth um and then nine tds and 39 uh missed tackles for so that's good for third out of Not the quarterbacks too shabby um, so again what you're drafting here is tools and really what what will make richardson um a hot bucket, hot button topic here for for rookie drafts for fantasy football purposes will be draft capital. If if somebody takes a chance on him in the first round of the NFL draft, whether wherever it is, yeah, um, he'll you know I I have no problem then. You know, maybe I wouldn't pick him over Young or Stroud, but I mean, if somebody's going to take him in the first round of the actual NFL draft because and of the tools be and the, because of the way I'd that be fantasy football, I'd is be surprised played. if he doesn't go in the first round at this point. Right, because of the way. Well, last year was a little bit there. You know, you didn't draft so much off of tools as you didn't. You didn't try to. They didn't try to jam a, a, a square peg into a round hole necessarily. Now yeah. this is a little bit different, but. Um, you know, maybe they're a little more desperate this year than last year, um, which was nice to see them not jam, try to jam those players in there and, and not draft guys too high necessarily. But Richardson is kind of has a special tool set and it wasn't playing at Liberty and wasn't, you know, a little shorter like Malik Willis was. Yeah. Um, and probably has a little bit more to his game than Willis did c- coming out of school. Um, potentially, um, just playing Florida, playing SEC competition. Yeah, uh, yes, week for in, sure. Week out. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, um, but Richards again, Richardson's the toolsy guy, and and for for fantasy draft purposes, it's it's going to be hard if he doesn't if he goes in the first round. It's going to be hard for me to stay off of him. Maybe even be in the first quarterback for me, just because where we're at with fan. I mean, just look around. There's there is yeah. fantasy scoring is right now is all pretty much done by. Anybody with legs, you got to have the legs to be up at the, to, to really be worth a shit to, to matter uh, a fair to be a QB one and really make a difference on your fantasy team. Um, you know, Mahomes and Burrow are kind of, you know, the two in there that don't necessarily run like but crazy. Give but you a couple but touchdowns still, too. They're, right, they're not but, statues. Right. Th- exactly. Exactly. They're, they're maybe a little bit more in the Bryce Young mold of how they operate on the field, which yeah. is still very efficiently. It can give you hidden yardage throughout the game, but maybe it's not in your face like Richardson's yardage. Yeah. Uh, necessarily would be. Um, but any any thoughts, you know, R- Richardson, even in the second round to me, is, is still going to be uh, very juicy. Uh, which I don't necessarily see him slipping past there, but apparently digging into him, it did seem like he was a guy who gave a, a, a good amount of shits and was in the film room a lot yeah. and, and trying to constantly improve, hit, hit a couple of rough patches here and there. I don't know how great Florida was a, a whole new regime uh, came in there this year. Um, yeah. We'll see how long old Billy lasts there. Yeah. So, you know, you went, the last two guys we talked about are, are staple stalwart programs always in the top where Florida's kind of floating around. Yeah. Um, they're, they're a former, I mean, I'd still call them a blue chip program, right. but they're not, it's there's the uh, er, old urban Myers not coaching there anymore. Right. But what, you know, this guy coming, c- coming off the first couple of games was like, must see. T- oh I watched gosh, him. Yeah. Must see TV. And that then two it, point conversion he had that everyone was talking about where he like Utah threw him like, th- yeah, the, yeah. The, the first game of the yeah. season when he threw him like a 30 yard line for a two point conversion. Yeah. yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. He was, he was, the, the tools are apparent on there and when it when the good is great for him um, and the fantasy points uh, could be a plenty here. Um, and I know this would be if big co were here, this would be the guy for him. He was, he was all in on Lamar. He was all in on Jalen hurts. Um, so he's, you know, I can't. I can't imagine. I mean, obviously Lamar was fantastic in in college, but I can't imagine Richardson being terribly off of where Lamar was coming into the league. 
Yeah, I think that's probably fair. Um, but again, for those teams, I don't and, think and I don't those, think Richardson quite has the legs that Lamar does. Fair but that's enough. not saying much. I mean, a bit bigger, though. Definitely big for sure. More maybe Cam Newton, like 80 percent of Cam Newton, 85 percent of Cam Newton. I mean, yeah. Cam Newton was special at Auburn. Right. Oh, for sure. And I mean, I think Richardson has some special traits, but I don't think he's quite has the, no. the passing up. No, I mean, Cam was taking Cam them did. to it. Uh, yeah, national championship, and so and and yeah. obviously Lamar was right there too. Yeah, um, but um, no Richardson. Blindly, I'll I'll hop in on Richardson if the draft capital is good, but then just like Lamar and just like Hertz, it's going to be up to the system to be able to develop the quarterback and put those skill sets on display rather than try to again cram a square peg into a round hole. You got to build the system around the traits, not what you want him to be. Yeah. Uh, God, so, I think Richardson would look great in, in a Giants uniform. That's what a lot of people are, you know, maybe speculating. And, it, you know, Josh Allen kind of had some accuracy issues and, and wasn't super sound uh, yeah. necessarily coming in. So that could be certainly a possibility. Uh, let's move on to another guy who's the, kind of the more toolsy guy who didn't have a great year either, who was who was pretty high uh, coming in. Yeah. He had, I mean, he I mean, he got here. Uh, we've got old uh, old coffee and the mayonnaise drinking uh, <laughs> banana peel, non yeah, peeling, yeah, non peeling bananas. Just a weird dude, and um, uh, Will Levis uh, of TikTok fame. If you mm-hmm. are, uh, if you're into that kind of thing, um, uh, Levis comes in at six three two thirty two, and I think that might be too small for Levis. He's ginormous. Yeah, he plays a lot. Boy, swell up. Yeah, he's a big boy. Yeah. Uh, so Levis turns 23 in the summer next year. Oldest so. of all these guys so far. Yeah, so the ones we talked about so far, yep. Um, he was a three-star quarterback, a number 28 pro-star quarterback in the 2018 class. Um, he did um, play two years at Penn State, as I know very well, <laughs> and then transferred to Kentucky uh, before the 2021 season. Um, so, I mean... Levis is he's got I mean he that's all, that's all he did at Penn State was run the ball right that's all all he did was run the ball he had um uh yeah I mean 286 and 253 rushing yards and he had he had four he had 600 passing yards combined between the two seasons so but definitely. then a nice explosion uh, well yeah because they let him throw the ball right <laughs> I mean what a wild idea let the guy throw the ball because he was sitting behind Sean Clifford and, right. They love Clifford over there. Love lust after Clifford. Can't shake the big red dog. No, they cannot. But uh, in twenty twenty two, Levis had. Um, uh, let's see. You, you gave him some more stats, so I'll um, uh, I'll make sure the listeners get those as well too. So he had uh, two hundred eighty six attempts, one hundred eighty six completions, good for sixty five percent completion percentage, two thousand four hundred sixteen yards, uh, nineteen TDs, ten interceptions. Um, adjusted completion percentage of 75.6 though. So that does look a lot better. He, he did a 15 drops on the season. So um, that, that adjusted completion percentage definitely looks a lot nicer than the regular one. Right. Uh, running the ball. He had 119 rushing yards, which was down a big time yeah, last big, year. Certainly. He's yeah. dealing with some injuries though as well. Yeah, correct. Yep. He didn't. I know he missed the South Carolina game. Um Definitely missed another game in there, I think, Yeah, too. but he, last year he had 516 rushing yards. This year he had 119, two touchdowns. Last year he had nine touchdowns. So um, I think Levis is kind of – he's he's like Richardson 0. .75. <laughs> is, is the down year because that, that – that, is this a, a – um, they, they lost their offensive coordinator as well, too. So that could yeah. – I think that could have, and, and probably I think an offensive lineman or two to the league, maybe, and um, and, Wandale. and Wandale. Yeah, um, I think Chris. I think is this Ron, is, is think, this Sam Howell kind of deal here that he was so high, or is there? It's just like maybe banged up and just the team. I mean, wasn't if you're listening to the draft good. prognosticator, he's still going to the top ten. So, yeah, which is odd to me. It seems like as time goes on, maybe that'll fade a little bit. But he seems like he's could. Probably be the third quarterback off the board it right seems, now. Yeah, likely that he's the third quarterback it's off. Very the board. odd to me. Yeah, I mean, now I do again, much like I talked about with Richardson, and I'm sure Stroud and and 
young or the same. I just didn't look into it because they're they're so good. Levis is 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 a big team guy, big first one in, last one out kind of gym rat. Don't mean to racially profile the white guy into that sure uh, thing there, but you know I know that's a classic uh, line there. But you know, uh, fantastic in the locker room by all in all regards. People love him. Yeah, um, and they they I I I forget who it was. Maybe it was. Uh, McShay saying how when he gets into the interview process at the he's combine, gonna sh- he's going he, to he, He's going to, and that could be part of what's helping prop up as they know how how good he is in, in those kind of situations. Which the longer and longer we stay in doing this, the more and more uh, I, I think obviously you have to have talent and you have to have, but the work ethic and the and the want to, yeah, um, I think is just such. And how do you measure that? I don't and know. And we can't quantify what they're doing on those whiteboards as well either. Right. But, you know, I, I just I feel like that's such a big part of, you know, how, how far you're going to go. I mean, obviously, I'm sure Tebow was into all that stuff too and it just didn't work out i'm not saying that that's the only thing that it takes but like dude had a dude had a bad throwing motion yeah though, so right just wasn't but still went in the first round right wasn't quite the gifts that you necessarily wanted but i just feel like you know some of these guys get in there and squander it i feel like more and more the more i longer i've been doing this the guys who really give a shit and, and want to be great you can say um, to marcus russell well i mean sure <laughs> um just you know michael vick was another one that could have been great but just didn't didn't you know, the, the stories of never they would give him a DVD of film and they'd put a hundred dollars in there and then they'd be like, Do you watch the, yeah. the film? And he'd be like, Yeah, and then they'd give him back and the hundred dollars would still be in there. Like it's like that um uh, that story from uh, draft day. Yeah. Right. Uh so it's just, you know, it, that's gotta lean something into Will Levis, but is he is he good enough to actually play the position at a high level? I, I'm not necessarily sure. I'm not going to lie and say I watched a ton of Kentucky football. I did start I, I, that 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 Kentucky Florida game in the beginning of the season. I was like, oh, this is going to be great. And yeah. both of those quarterbacks were fucking trash yeah, in that game. They were very bad in that game. Um, and after that, I mean, I caught more Richardson than I did Levis. Um, so He's, I'm not going to yeah. say that I saw a lot of them, but yeah, what was um, the Florida game? What was your Thir- oh. 13 to 24 for 202 was, yards, one touchdown, one interception. That was not a fun game to watch. Um, you got any other thoughts on on Will there? He can fucking run the sh- dog shit out of the ball. Yeah. And obviously he's st- sturdily built. So you're not worried about necessarily injuries, but we had some injuries this year. Yeah. Which aren't great. Uh, I don't remember what exactly what the injuries were. So it could have been a fluke as well, too. Right. But obviously he wasn't injured at all last year. So, right. Hundred percent, and and just I just I wonder if it's a little bit of Sam Howell where it was maybe this was a little bit more of what you what is real or was last year a little bit more of what was real. I'm not sure, um, but you know as we move on, we'll we'll start to figure it out uh, more and more. You got uh, one more out of these. I top do five? have another one here. Uh, unfortunately, a, a gentleman who is definitely injured. Right. Um, uh, we are talking about Tennessee quarterback Hendon Hooker, um, or day wa- lady of the night prostitute, <laughs> whatever you want to call him. Yeah. Um, Hendon comes in at six four two eighteen. He's old though. He is very old. What is it? Sims is old. It's old. Should have been a game years ago, but he can't go home because he hates his wife. <laughs> so he is a uh, twenty four years old. He was the number. He was a four star. Number eleven dual threat quarterback in the twenty seventeen class. Uh, Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech transferred to Tennessee before the twenty twenty one season. Tore his ACL in November twenty twenty two. But before me, that, but let me read off some of the stuff to you before I get into stats. He was the fifteenth highest in passing grade of PFF. He's the highest yards per attempt. Twenty second in yards. 12th highest in average depth of tar- average at throw, 11th highest in completion percentage, and the sixth in reverse order of interceptions. He only threw two interceptions on the year. Right. So had some huge wins. Um, yeah. Just absolutely massive wins. Tennessee playing. This bummer that he got hurt. Tennessee playing yeah. at, at a pretty high level. Fun offense. Yeah. Um, I mean, they were out of the South Carolina game. They were, they were going to lose the game whether they get hurt or not. But Sure, sure. Um, um, but big wins and at LSU first Alabama mm-hmm. home against Kentucky, obviously the Georgia game, probably not his best game that he played all year. Nope. So, but I mean, that's a, that's a 
NFL defense, basically. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Yeah. Not a whole lot of people are coming out with those with the dub. Yeah. Um, but, you know, interesting that he's that he's a bit older. Um, yeah. So. I mean, it doesn't really bother me too much with quarterbacks. I mean, these guys. Well, are kind it, of, yeah. In the mid 30s. Anyways, I don't really care too much about that. The, the knock will be that that he's, you know, that he's should be so good because he's older. I mean, he's not Brandon Whedon. I don't care. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, you could say, then it's, I'm sure the breakout age is, is going to be, I don't even think they use breakout. They don't I'm, have, I'm yeah. sure they, whatever, but people aren't going to like it. I mean, um, he, I mean, he had some good seasons when he was, yeah. he had some half decent seasons with the Virginia tech. I mean, shit, he threw for 1500 yards as a, as a, as a red shirt freshman. Yeah. But this is the offense is, is kind of a, a little funky. I think they run like a lot of choice routes and they, they do a lot of bunching and, and, um, yeah. It's it's kind of hard to hard to stop collegiately, so I think there there could be a spread, a, slight, a spread, a, a spread ish offense, sort of, and yes, and there could be a little bit of gimmick to not to the offense in in how they do things, which maybe led to some gaudy er numbers. Um, but they they certainly have skill position players to do so, and the quarterback play was yeah top notch this year. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how much. He is not, I don't think there's any way he's not coming out at this point. I would doubt it. Um, you would doubt it? I would doubt if he would come back. Yeah, right. He's old. Um, yeah. And you know, I don't even know if he stinks, is. stinks that he's hurt. Um, yeah. So that's probably going to hurt the stock for him. And so, you know, maybe you think this is a third round guy here? Probably a second, third round guy. Yeah. Somebody takes maybe, a shot. Yeah. Maybe he'll, maybe he falls down to the Willis range. But I mean, the numbers this year, 200. 331 attempts, 229 completions, 69.2% completion percentage, 75.9 adjusted completion percentage, 3,100 yards, nine and a half yards per attempt, 27 mm. touchdowns. There's only those two interceptions. And then we go to the ground game and he's got 566 rushing yards and five TDs. Yeah. I mean, kind of gives you a nice little dual threat. Yeah, absolutely. Like we're talking about doing with their legs. I mean, right. Not not the smallest guy in the world either. No, he's a little slender, but I mean, right. still two twenties, not a small. Right. right. So it kind of gives you a little bit of in between of those of these kind of two versions of quarterbacks we started off with. Yeah. With Bryce and CJ, and then or, and um, kind of an amalgamation of all the guys we talked about so far. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see how how that kind of plays out. Um, and I, I certainly liked what you saw from Hen and Hooker this year, and I think somebody will be willing to take a shot if he slips into the late second some i'm sure maybe yeah so some, something something like uh especially like some of the, the better teams maybe yeah, like the into the 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 second. Ritter. i'm not, not saying they're one of the better teams right but i mean sure yeah. i mean that's a that's a good call i mean maybe you start the season with ritter a little bit there and then bring hooker along no no i'm just saying like the falcons did that the ritter, oh, 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 ritter I fell see. into I the see. ritter fell into but the, the falcons could be somebody maybe who don't invest a high pick and then pick up somebody like a hooker and let him let him hang out with him. Let's see what see if you got anything yeah. in Ritter. Maybe the Colts take a stab at him and later. I mean, they've got not. I mean, why not? They it's, like older quarterbacks. Yeah, there you go. He's a bit young for them, though. <laughs> sure. Um, so so you know, all in all, I think this quarterback came class came in very highly regarded, and I think it's it's slipped quite a bit. I think even Richardson and, and Levis didn't quite live up to maybe where we thought we wanted them to be for sure. Stroud and young well, held think, on. Yeah. And they, they, I think they are what we thought they were. Yeah. I think um, yeah. And hooker kind of came out of left field for being fantastic this year. Um, but again, coming in with a, with a I mean, ACL. His numbers last year were pretty damn good too. Yeah. 20, almost 3000 yards, 31 touchdowns, only three interceptions, six, 68%. Completion percentage seventy six percent adjusted completion percentage. Yeah, so not necessarily Almost an anomaly. Rushing from, yards, yeah. I right. mean, it's not just. I a think one. that's why people were high higher on Tennessee than they were coming the season because of how well Hooker had played. Yeah. Um, I think they just kind of just put together put it together in some of these big games. Obviously, other than the George game. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. You know, obviously, Penix Junior. coming back to school, which yeah. I kind of am, am talk hot. about. He's got to be old too. He, he's probably pretty old, but he 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 had a nice season. So I I was kind of liking him. Maybe some later round stuff. Not sure what Bo Nix is going to do, but I was pretty out on Bo Nix, and then he had a decent season this year. Yeah, you and you and Auburn both. Uh, yeah, um, Duggins having a great season. I'm not really sure what that'll amount to. Um, 
let's see here. Uh, the, the guy from the Coastal Carolina, uh, Grayson, Grayson McCall. McCall. We also have Tanner McKee from Stanford. Stanford. So he's probably one of the higher ranking guys J- left. Jaron Hall from BYU as mm-hmm. well, too. Um, Sean Clifford. <laughs> Sean Clifford. Uh, the guy from uh, Fresno State and the J- guy from Jake Hayner and uh, we have Clayton Toon from Clayton Houston. Toon. Houston. Those guys have had decent. Yeah, these seasons. are guys we're all going to see on definitely. We'll probably get drafted on day three. Uh, there's probably going to be a guy here that wasn't, we didn't kind of put in that top five who will, will ascend um, or two. Um, so we shall see. But uh, I don't really know much about the, the Stanford guy. I know they weren't very good this year, uh, but he keeps getting his name mentioned yeah with those guys at least yeah he was a force he was a, I think he's probably the best quarterback that's ever come to Stanford not named Andrew Luck so oh. he was a th- he was a number three overall quarterback in his class so yeah not too shabby there but just a bad infrastructure right now around him and David Shaw leaving um and then you had you had Davis Mills there before that, oh yeah, Mills was too, Mills was really good too. Pretty high about Mills. Pretty high prospect. Yeah, for Mills. Penix is only twenty two, so not that old. Not that old. Had, had a nice nice little uh, rejuvenation over there, but, but wants he, to come back this for, is for fifth, Washington. This is his, this next year will be his sixth year. Must have been maybe got the COVID year maybe, and he then got the COVID year, and then a red shirt and then year. Probably young young gun coming in. Yeah, he was he got the red shirt year in twenty eighteen because he like only played you, three games. I know you're not necessarily. Love don't love Penix too much, but I like no I no no absolutely year, no was, for sure. Was, I don't, I not, nothing bad to say about Penix at all. Yeah, so I was a little bummed he didn't come out um because I was kind of like him. Another guy who's got horse. a lot of tools there, but he's always injured. I think he's torn it both. I think he's torn if not one, if not both his ACLs. Yeah, torn ACL, redshirted, and then torn ACL. Who's that? 2020, yeah, yeah. twenty twenty one. Yep. Um, you got anything else? Uh, Sam Hartman is another yep, quarterback. Yep, that's a good um, call out there. And he he had a, a good system in Wake Run also, or he had a good Hartman had a good year after maybe was going to miss the season in the beginning of the season. They were like, yeah, Sam, there was something. There was something. Uh, he only ended up missing a couple games. Uh, yeah, but they also run a weird. They run that weird mesh system. Um, so you know, I'm sure people aren't going to love the way that that his tape looks in the way that he throws the yeah, ball, Hartman, like yeah. where he was I on hate, the field I and all that watch, kind of stuff. I hate watching wake. I remember them when, um, uh, he was that wide receiver that's coming out. Who did absolutely nothing. His brother, uh, Sir, Sage Surratt. Surratt. And then who they got this year, the big tall guy, uh, six, six, six. They got that. Yeah, they were throwing. What's his name? AT something or other. Something maybe like that. Yeah. I don't yeah. Know. But yeah, Sage Surratt was, was, was no good. Um, Stetson Bennett, not getting any love no, here, but no, he's old as hell, and you know he's twenty five. Pr- probably be a career backup in the no, NFL. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think he has. Not, I don't. You don't even think he's going to get there? No. No, he'll get drafted. He'll. I. I don't know. You don't know? I think he will. I think he will. Um, he's late. He's late. Another Western Kentucky guy leading the way in yards here um, for the twenty twenty three eligible guys. Austin Reed. Yeah. Um, and then. Uh, Toon is right there near the top of, of yardage markers this year and Aiden O'Connell at four, which, you know, he wasn't terrible in the, in that Michigan game. They, they just didn't have enough to keep up with, no, I mean, with them. Yeah. They, they, they also have no running game whatsoever. So, yeah. I mean, he had 533 drop back. So you got anything else you want to throw in here before we get out of here? No, I think we'll, Spencer uh, Rattler. Ah, actually, he's, but he's, he's coming. I feel back, like he yeah. got to ride the wave. In, we were talking in about Carolina we were talking about two his brother as well too coming out. But yeah. I think he'll stay for another year as well too. So uh, Rattler got hot there at the end. I, I like where South Carolina is going. I like their coach. I like Beamer, Beamer ball baby. Um, seems like they're they might be building something there. Kind of fun. Um, I mean, we've got some great recruits around these parts. Yeah, for sure. It's good. I like I like uh, this is the first year I didn't really do it, but I usually go Friday nights and try to catch some football games couple, like three or four times a year. And then right around playoff time, go go catch one or two of those. It's usually some Fort Dorchester usually has some, oh, yeah. some good kids. Fort D and um, uh, Fort D and Somerville. Yeah, Somerville and uh, Goose Creek. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so so uh, and James Allen was pretty good this year. Um, the um, uh, running backs coach for uh, Porter Gallup's across the street from me. Mm, nice. Get him on the show. They um, uh, they made it to the uh, state semifinals and lost. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they did. They they and they got absolutely waxed. They do though. like lower and upper here. Yeah. Um, 
So weird. But maybe we'll get him on the show. But if not, we're, we're going to get your boy, probably Riley, back on the show, oh, maybe uh, to talk yeah. about oh, some I of these see. guys. Yeah. And we'll be doing much deeper dives again. This is just kind of surface level stuff just to get us you know, familiar. You know, another good person coming to talk about rookies is, is uh, old uh, John Michael McCann. J. Mike? J. Oh, Mike's, yeah. J, I think J. Mike's coming on either the end of December or the beginning of January. Right. we got JB coming back next week and I'm then just, two just, weeks after that. I just uh, just um, uh, said to, to JB the other day about looking forward to chatting them both about 2023 rookies. Yeah, so we're going to get those guys on. We're going to have some guests, and then we're going to have a long off season of doing all sorts of mocks and – uh, rookie mocks and you know Patreon mocks and we'll be doing we're gonna do a live stream Monday um, and that'll probably be the last live stream of the season and we'll move to probably getting an extra Patreon show um, a week and maybe only doing one show for the public and doing uh, then throwing out draft profiles of guys um, so we appreciate y'all be sure to like subscribe comment below I know Jason's yeah. Excited I got that in. Oh, yeah. Uh, Five-star review. Patreon. Patreon.com. Black Slash the FF Dynasty. I don't have an FF Dynasty t-shirt, but I do have a Revelry shirt on. So if you want to support the team without, you know, $5 holler, uh, you can go to RevelryBrewCo.com and, and pick up a sweet tea. Um, or, you know, another way to support is is for sure subscribe comment like below or five star review us uh, if you're a fucking freeloader um, <laughs> but we appreciate all you guys um, and we'll, we'll keep coming back uh, week after week even if we have to do it in uh, the Casey de Casa what are we going to do with the Casa de Foreman mm. I don't know yeah right you guys will never come over to John's <laughs> Island it's, it's, a, it's a far drive I know I do it through twice a week <laughs> All right, man. Well, maybe we will do it one day. Maybe. All maybe. Right. That usually means no. I know. Um, I, but, I'm a uh, father, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.